I am Hamster Dad. You may think, wow, this guy's got a lot of subscribers. He seems like he knows what he's doing as he's handling this hamster. This is a hamster expert. In reality, I've actually, we only adopted Alpha less than three weeks ago. And through immersion, I've had to learn how to become a, as I'm saying, hamster dad. Basically, it's only been the last couple of days where I've got to the comfort level of where, and, and it, he, he too, where he can crawl around on my arms like this and, and do this. But what I was doing is I was getting him used to the, to the hamster ball. But now that he's this used to me, where I'm hand feeding him carrots and that sort of thing. So uh, it's funny because I didn't grow up with hamsters. I, until a couple weeks ago, I had never really even held one or touched one or anything. Uh, so this is a new experience for me. I've learned a whole lot uh, about having hamsters. Like they need to be an aquarium, not a cage. And you don't actually have to clean the entire thing. They actually poop in one corner and you clean that out and they actually kind of need to keep their scent and the rest and they need to be able to dig. Cages aren't good for them. I've learned all these things that they're solitary animals that you shouldn't put more than one together. They need plenty of space. And it's funny the curious relationship though that they have with human beings because there's no real reason we should coexist with hamsters. Uh, but he likes me, I like him and it's this symbiotic relationship. It's funny they're just constantly like it's funny, they're hopelessly looking to escape. And the irony, of course, is if he were to escape from this house in the suburbs here, he would end up in the field and immediately, <laughs> it was almost dropping, he would immediately uh, be devoured by a falcon or a hawk or an eagle in the, the field behind my home. But, uh, so yes, I've learned uh, how to become a hamster owner. And for my first official video, because I did make a video of talking about the cage that we got from him that wasn't a good fit, because it's a cage, and really a, a Syrian hamster should not have a cage. They should have an aquarium. Mine's a, or mine. The one I got from him is a 20 gallon uh, aquarium. But ultimately, here, here was my deep thought about this today. I'm not a dog owner, I'm not a cat owner, you know, larger animals, no. But I, I grew up with cockatiels, those talking birds, and about the size of, of him, actually. And it got me thinking, there must be something culturally or psychologically about me that whereas, you know, the thought of having a dog or a cat, I'm like, that's great for people who do, but no thanks. I would much rather take care of this. I like the hands-on aspect of it. He sleeps, you know, during the day. So it's like, I can come home from work and then that's when he's ready to get up. And so it really works out great. It's just a matter of, having the right home for them. And again, you, these things do not be, need to be in a cage. They need to be in glass. Again, I do a, a 20 gallon and they, they're they designed to be constantly on the move and looking and making holes and, and stuff. So with all the shavings I have, he just piles up his corner and that's his bed. And when it's time to wake him up, I whistle the theme song to Mork and Mindy and I put him in his hamster bowl like he's getting abduct, abducted by a spaceship. You know, and that's the relationship I have with him. So it's taken uh, some time uh, for me to understand, but now that I've got this thing figured out, I think this is a really good situation. So uh, I thought, okay, so like basically I'm a hamster dad. So here we go. Uh, this is a preview of what can happen if you uh, do this thing right. Now, here's the deal. I've been a hamster dad for less than three weeks. That means I am happy to learn from anybody out there watching these videos because I know so little. <laughs> I really do. So uh, help me become a better hamster dad. I'm gonna leave the comment sections to you, but this is a male. It's a, he's about three months old, Syrian or a teddy bear, a hamster. Tell me everything I need to know. But ultimately the takeaway question is, and help me sort, help me understand myself better. What about me and my personality makes it to where I am better suited for a little rodent like this or the cockatiel birds that I grew up with. Why do I resonate? Why do I connect better with these animals instead of a dog? It's like if you show me your dog, I'll be like, oh, hi. And like, I won't like reach down and pet. I just, I don't, I'm not naturally in tune with a cat or a dog, but with a small animal like a Syrian hamster or a cockatiel bird, I definitely am. Like that's my language. That's my speed. What does that say about my own personality? 
I am so eager for you to teach me about myself. And don't forget to leave those comments right here and I'll see if I can make a video response to you. And in case you're wondering, I am Hamster Dad.